Hey guys, this is going to be um my spring my spring essentials video, sorry, um I was trying to think what I was gonna call it there. Um so this is my spring essentials um the kind of colours that I'm wearing on my lips and cheeks and eyes and nails, even though I don't have any nails on just now. Um so I'm gonna start with nail polish. Um the two that I love are very similar colours although this one the this one is slightly more pink and this one is slightly more orange. Um the this one is the Rimmel 60 seconds in 415 in style coral. So that's that one. That one's a slightly more pink toned coral. And this one is by Models Own, and it is Fuzzy Peach. Now, I've had this one for about a year, so I'm not sure if you can still buy this one, but I just bought the Rimmel one recently, so I know you can still get this one. Um, so on to makeup. Um... Firstly, in the spring, I start to like I start to wear slightly lighter bases, so not full coverage, um, something that feels lighter on the skin. So I tend to go for either tinted moisturizers or really really light foundation. So the first tinted moisturizer I have is my Nivea one. This is. I just dropped it on the floor, so I won't show you it again, but it's just the Nivea Tinted Moisturiser you can get in boots. Um, the next is actually MAC Face and Body Foundation. This is really, really light, but you can build the coverage up. Um, I'm in shade N1, uh, so that's just MAC Face and Body. really, really like this. So that's that's the one that I'm wearing, and the last one is actually the one I'm wearing today, um, and it is Chanel's Vital Lumiere Aqua, which again is really really light but buildable coverage, and I am in the color ten beige, or B ten I think it is, which is the lightest shade that they do. That one. Um, the concealer that I've actually been using recently, along with my Bobby Brown Corrector is the L'Oreal Paris Lumi Magique, which looks like that, and I am in the colour 1, which is light, and it's just like a brush. Put it on the back of my hand and show you. It's just a really, really light, consistent, um, light colour. Light consistency as well, and just adds. I don't know if you can see that, just a brightening effect to the skin. I love that and more. It just adds a really, really brightening effect to the skin. So loving that for under my eyes. Um, on to eyeliners. Um, I've been loving the Benefit Eye Bright. Which is just a kind of pinky pinky white eyeliner for the inside, just brightens up your eyes. So I've really been loving that for the past couple of weeks. And the next are actually coloured eyeliners. The first one is by Avon and it is their Glimmer Stick Diamonds. And the colour is Sugar Plum. Oops. And it is like a sparkly plum colour. And the other one is a Exaggerate Waterproof Eye Definer from Rimmel in 250 Emerald Sparkle. Um, 
And that's the colour of that one there. So I've been loving using them because I've been wearing really neutral eyes. Um, that just gives like a pop of colour underneath. So I've been wearing them. The mascara that I've been loving to use is the Volume Million Lashes for Hazel Eyes. Now, this is actually a purple. It's like a blackish purple mascara. I don't know if you can actually see that. Um, but it makes my, because I've got hazel eyes, it makes my eyes pop. Um, as I said for eyes, I've just been going for really, really neutral colours and I have six eyeshadows that I've been reaching for the most. Um, again, just really neutral colours. This one is NARS's Fathom. And it looks like that. It's just a light pink sparkly colour. Um, so I've been using that all over my lid. The colour that I've used most in my crease is by Benefit. And it is in the colour Moody. And it is just a really light brown colour. Um, similar to Max Wedge. Um, I've also been using all of my lid um, a My Face Cosmetics um, Blink Tone in Spicy. And it is a very metallic -y brown with a lot of sparkle in it. I've really, really been loving that. And then I have three MAC shadows that I purchased recently that I've been reaching for. They are going to be coming up in a haul. Um, I've just not edited the haul yet. Um, or anything. So I'm going to try and do that within the next week and get that haul up for you guys. Um, but these were in my, these will be in the haul. And it is All That Glitters. Sketch and woodwinked so i've been reaching for them a lot recently i've been reaching for sketch here just because purples really really make my eyes pop and that's a purple toned brown so that is some of the eyeshadows i've been reaching for recently um on to cheeks now i have two kind of Cheek and lip stains. The two. The, oops, the first one is actually by Topshop and it is in Bitten Berry. It looks like that. And I'm going to swatch these because, well, this one, because you can't see the colour through the tube. So it's in the colour Bitten Berry and it comes out like that. But when you blend it in, it kind of goes to a pinky red colour. Now this is a lot darker than I would normally wear um, on my lips or my cheeks in the spring. But if you put it on really, really lightly, it blends out to a really, really nice pinky colour. Like that. Oh dear, it itchy nose. And the other one is by Me, Me, Me. And it is their Pussycat Cheek and Lip Tint. Which I've been told is similar to Benefit's Benetint. Oh, it's running down my hand. Oh well, I've now got this all over my hand, but never mind. It's not really showing up this one. Two seconds. Let me get a decent swatch of this.
and that is that colour there. So it's a lot, lot lighter than the. So this is the Ben the Pussycat, and this one is Topshop one. So the Pussycat is a lot, lot lighter. Um, a lot more sort of baby pink. Um, so I've been loving there. Sorry, I'm really uncomfy there. Oh, I've been loving them for my cheeks and my lips. Um, so, oh, really itchy nose. So next, on to blushes. Now, I'm going to show that one last. That's my favourite. The first blush that I have been loving for spring so far is NARS's Orgasm, which is this colour here. It's a peachy pink sparkly colour. I've been loving that. The next one is a mineralised blush from MAC and it is in the colour Love Rock. And it is this colour here. There we go. This is like a pinky colour and then at the top it's like a lilac and mixed together it's really nice. It's actually what I'm wearing today. So just really nice bright pink. Another bright pink that I have been loving, which a lot of you should actually have seen all of these in my um blushes video, but another one is Barry M's blusher in number one, which is a hot, hot pink colour. Let's see it there. It's a lot brighter than what is showing up on camera. Um, actually, my top looks bright pink and this is even brighter. So it's like a hot baby pink colour. So I love that. And you can see how that applies in my blushers video. The next one is a peachy pink colour. And it is Benefits Dandelion. This is like a muted peachy pink. Really, really subtle, so that's really nice on lighter skin tones. The next two are actually my favourite um, blushes for spring, and they're actually almost dupes of each other. Um, yeah, they are almost dupes of each other. The first one is by Natural Collection, and it is a Peach Melba. And I'm going to have to put my finger over it because it falls out. You see that? Um, but it's like a true peach colour. And the same, the one that is the same colour as that is Melba by MAC. Which is also coming up in the haul um, that I filmed a couple of days ago. Um, and this is also a true peach colour. And I love, love, love this for spring. Um, the next three products are highlighters that I've been loving. The first, um, the first one is a silvery highlighter, which is Max. Cream colour base in Pearl. As you can see, I've used quite a lot of that. And um, the next two are sort of more golden highlighters. The first one is just a wee sample of Benefits High Beam, which I've been loving. And then a Liz Errol Sheer Gold Shimmer. Which looks like that. You're supposed to, to put this one underneath your foundation as well, but I just put it on my cheekbones just up here. And that is the one that I'm wearing today. So, on to a lip balms. And I'm going to move forward. So I'm really not very comfy. 
So, the lip balms I have been loving are firstly the EOS lip balm, and this one is in Strawberry Sorbet. So it just looks like that. This is a pretty new one. Um, smells amazing, like strawberry ice cream. So that's that. The next one is by Corez, and it is the lip butter in guava. It's just a white color. That the next two are tinted lip balms. The first one is the Burt's Bees in, I believe it's a replenishing lip balm with pomegranate oil. So I believe it's the pomegranate one. It is that colour. That is the colour of it. So I've been loving that where I'm not wearing much makeup but I want a colour on my lip. And next is actually a MAC Tender Tone. And this is in the colour Purring. And it is a bright orange coral colour. I've got a little bit of this on just now, but not much. I'll show you the lip combo that I had on before I put this on the top. Um, so I'll show you the lip combo that I've got on today, and then I'll go on to the rest of my lipsticks, lip stains, and lip glosses. So the first, these actually came as a duo. I got them in Superdrug at Gosh. So these came as a duo. This is the Gosh Lip Colour, which is like a lip stain, in 705. And it is a bright orange coral. Really, really similar to Max Purring Tender Tone. So it's that. And then it came with a orangey coral cool lip jam in 104 so that is the lip combo that is on my lips today next I have two lip stains the first one is not a colour I would usually go for in sort of springtime but it is Revlon's Just Bitten lip stain in Frenzy and I will swatch that for you. Again, it is a lot darker than what I would usually go for, but I wear a lighter lip gloss over it, and it is really, really pretty. And the next product is actually coming up in a haul as well, and it is um, Maybelline's Color Sensational. Um, lip stain or lip marker in 150 tender rose which is like a baby pink so I'll swatch that for you there just like a baby pink colour so I've been loving that Next, I'm going to go on to lipstick and oops, lip glosses. In fact, I'm going to go with this lip cream first because it's kind of in between the two. And it is Collection 2000's Cream Puff Moisturising Lip Cream. And it is in the colour Fairy Cake number 3. Sort of similar, but slightly lighter than the colour of my top. It's a kind of coral pink again. I'll see if I can do it. Find a space to do a swatch. And it is a matte colour. 
that is it there. I like wearing this when I've got a lot of shimmer on my cheeks, just so that I'm not bringing the shimmer into my lips as well and making it too much, or if I've got shimmer on my eyes. So, the lipsticks. I have a couple of bright ones. Which are those ones. And then... It's a kind of in betweeny one, and then I have two nudes. So I'll show you the nudes that I've been wearing first. This one is a Avon. Doesn't see what kind it is. Just an Avon lipstick, I presume, in nude shimmer. Which it has two colours in it. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. And it's just a very kind of brownie nude colour. Very, very moisturising. It's kind of a bronzy nude. It just looks like that. And that is the colour there. So it's a very, very nude colour. The next is Max Innocence Beware, which is a cream sheen from the Venomous Villains collection, and it's the Cruella de Vil one. Just swatching these up my arms because I've run out of hand space. So that is it there. The next one is a kind of in between colour and it is Barry M's 147. Just this one here. So again, it's a kind of this isn't a really good way to do this. Pinky coral, and it is a, a matte color. Next, I have another Barry M one, and it is fifty three, which is like a bright orange. It is sort of more a Satin colour, I would say. That is it there. Next one is Max. The Max thing he's running up, rubbing off. Max Viva Glam Gaga, which is a luster. Which is like a bubblegum baby pink. I don't know how I'm going to swatch much more, but we'll, we'll go with it. The next one is also a bright orangey pink colour, and it is by the brand Famous from Superdog, and it is a number five pucker up. And it's really nice because it comes in a sort of um, square tube, but then the inside bit is circular and it's got a wee ribbon on the end. You'll see this is very pigmented and very, very bright. Honestly, I'm not doing a very good job of swatching these. Because that one is in a really awkward position. Right, wait a minute. Hold on, hold on. Come further up this way. There we go. So that's it on the end there. Very very pigmented color. Pigmented color. The last lipstick I have is by Rimmel, and yes, and it is their Moisture Renew lipstick in six hundred soft coral. Again, is a coral colour. Used this one a lot last spring and summer. And that is the colour of it, just there. 
So that is the lipsticks I have been wearing a lot this, that I will be wearing a lot this spring. So very sort of brightly coloured ones. The only exception is all sort of pinky orangey colours. Even the Innocence Beware one is kind of peachy. The only exception, oh dear, is this nude colour here. So next I have, and um, next and lastly, um, I have lip glosses, but two seconds because I'm going to get up and wipe these off my arm. I'll use my Bioderma. Just to wash these off my arm. And try and get them completely off so I can swatch the um glosses for you. Go. So I have four lip glosses here, apart from the one, well I already showed you one of them. Um, the first one is a Too Faced, Too Faced Glamour Gloss, which has a lip plumper in it. It's just a sample and it's in the colour Barely Legal. Probably not a good idea to be putting a plumper on my wrist. It's like a baby peach colour. Can't even see that. It's like a baby peach. The next one is a similar sort of colour but slightly more nude. And it is a NARS Larger Than Life lip gloss in the colour Spring Break. It is very similar but more, it's not got the pink in it, it's so more a sort of true peach. You really can't see them at all. The next one is a MAC lip glass in Deja Rose. Which you will be able to see because it is bright pink. So that is it there above the other two. And the last one is a Victoria's Secret lip gloss and it's a Beauty Rush one in Strawberry Fizz. It's a very, very sparkly baby pink. As you can see, that is a very sparkly one. So, that is my spring essentials for you guys. Um, I hope you all enjoyed that. And I will speak to you all soon. Bye.